job. Uh, Layla, you had a question, sweetheart. Kathy, you asked about the pelvic floor. My ears perked up when you said something about peeing multiple times. In the middle of the night, I pee like four or five times. And could I, is that something that's relevant to what you're talking about? Yeah, absolutely. You don't have to have that problem. Um, that I've seen that change. A lot of the things that people initially experience once they start stretching or getting stretched are energy levels, digestion, um, sleep, which includes not having to get up to urinate, yeah. sex drive. Yeah, all of that can change. And um, again, for the lateral hamstrings to help with the bladder and um, the sexual organs can be affected primarily through the psoas major in the central hamstrings balance and getting those to work more effectively. The psoas in particular is an important muscle group of a person's needing some type of emotional change, which could show up as they're holding their breath when they're breathing, when they're stretching, they're, they're not breathing naturally and they're either trying to force themselves to breathe, which doesn't quite work, or they're holding their breath, which obviously doesn't work. And then if you stretch out the psoas major, it starts to allow the person to breathe more hormonally, um, which I think is an important thing for all people, but I think women in particular are more conscious of the hormonal effects um, on the body. So I think it's an important um, thing for women. I was just talking to my friend about it in terms of um, you know, her, her cycle and so on and so forth. There are specific muscle groups that can help with um, the uterus and also um, hormonal, hormonal balance inside the body. So all of that can change and improve. Yeah. Thank you so much for your time. Sylvia, thank you for bringing this gem to us. I'm seriously so grateful to be in this space and just thank you, thank you, thank you for just like raining so much love and light and hope for all of us, I feel, at least for you personally. So thank you again. Well, I'm grateful to Sylvia for getting me here because I always love sharing and to see people who are so appreciative, it's just, it's a match.